Sensation of this year's baseball season is one-armed Pete Gray of the St. Louis Browns. Despite his handicap, Pete asks and gives no favors, standing right up there with the best of them. Sure, you recognize the babe. He steps out of baseball's Hall of Fame long enough to take another cut at the old apple, just to please the bond buyers. So, what's the next line? Uh, Keep moving, you're a hell of a target. Uh, <laughs> Anyone who doubts that Americans endorsed World War II wholeheartedly need only look at the entertainers. Many enlisted. Those who stayed home went into volunteer work. Visibly and vocally supporting the war effort was also a good career move, of course. It was a popular war. But it's hard to be cynical about anybody's sincerity while watching those old films of Hollywood and Broadway stars mingling with unknown soldiers, sailors, and Marines from Main Street on their way to the war. If you've ever been to Hollywood, one thing you're sure to remember is this converted barn in the heart of the city. Here, under the leadership of Betty Davis and John Garfield, all the guilds and unions in Hollywood have collaborated in creating and maintaining the Hollywood Canteen. More than a million servicemen of the United Nations have been entertained here by almost everybody in motion pictures. Most of its earlier guests are scattered all over the world by now. In the South Pacific, the Aleutians, the Middle East, ETO, Italy, well, let it go at all around the world. And to them, here's a message from one of the canteen's favorites, Miss Dinah Shore. Hello, fellas. We had some guests of honor here the other night, convalescent men from an army hospital. And they seemed so darn glad to see the canteen again that we thought maybe you'd like to take a look especially you fellows who are so far away from home. So let's, let's look around. You be our honored guest tonight. OK? You're greeted at the door by Lana Turner, Deanna Durbin, and Marlena Dietrich. And you grab yourself a partner for some music by Xavier Kruger. <laughs> Probably you'll find Judge and Mrs. Hardy behind the snack bar. That's Lewis Stone and Faye Holden, with Jenny Sims and Virginia Wyden. On stage, a song from Eddie Cantor. Coffee could be sweeter, but I'm not in the dumps. Cause every time she hugs me, it's like two extra lumps. We're staying home tonight, my baby. While Hetty Lamar hands out autographs. <laughs> or some rough house with red skeletons. No upsetting the nerves, no bad taste. It's a nice smooth drink. Pour a little in your glass and drink it right down. But be sure and ask for Guzzler's gin. A nice smooth drink. <laughs> <laughs> Drink a little after dinner. Drink some before you won't have to eat any dinner. Or more rough house with Jimmy Durant. What a racket he's got with that stick. <laughs> That's a politician's job. I wonder what he'd do with the stick if the band didn't show up. 